Guys, I need to share out of care for you that you're being fooled by YouTubers constantly. In this case, about a mouse setting, and I'm going to prove why they're wrong and how they're fooling you. But there's a bigger lesson in this whole video that you, I want you guys to understand, and I will explain as we get into it. So first, we're going to talk about the mouse fix that you some of you might have heard of some of you might have it it doesn't matter you will still learn from this video there's something called yaw speed multiple youtubers have, still, have talked about it i have made a video about it and i have people disagreeing with me and getting like two likes two whole likes when they're completely wrong okay i'm gonna explain to you guys first of all you have this youtuber by the way this is i don't think these youtubers are clowns but i'm gonna explain to you guys why you need to be way more careful with believing these people this guy, four eyes, he says, incredibly inf important information, changing this setting, okay? Which does nothing for your mouse, but they claim it to be, and people believe them. 73k views. Next person, Atterson, 19k views. Um, Atterson said, creme de la creme of fixes on Warzone 3 to get your mouse to feel consistent. This guy, jump scope, 25k views. Those who play a lot of mouse and keyboard will notice the difference. It's very essential setting. It's night and day. Guys, I'm going to show you guys that it's wrong. Okay? So whatever they say, you can watch their videos about how it works. I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to show you that it's not for your mouse. It's for your keyboard. That's all I'm going to show you. We're in Call of Duty right now. I'm going to press my keyboard key. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look. I'm, can you see that I'm slowly turning in game as I hold down this key? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna exit the game and I'm gonna show you guys that this setting that they're claiming to fix your aim does literally nothing. As you see, the yaw speed is on 1.0. This is the setting that they all talk about, guys. It's on 1.0. I'm gonna now put it at 279 on both cases, just in case anyone says, oh, you didn't change both settings because this setting clearly says gamepad and this one says gamepad and keyboard. But if I don't do this, guys, they will attack me again. Like, you only change one setting, though. The other one is for your mouse. No. Now I'm going to explain more to you guys. You guys gonna, you are going to learn something from this video besides just a setting, okay? Um, so we're going to load back into the game. And what you're going to see is now that I changed the setting from one yaw speed to 279, that when I will press the key on my keyboard, it'll turn faster because that's what the yaw speed is for, okay? So as we're loading in... I'm going to get into the firing range here. Boom. Guys, keyboard ready. This is going to be crazy. The setting that I changed is for the keyboard, like it says in the config file. I know, crazy. Watch this. Wow, it turns faster. Yes, indeed. I'm not going to hammer too much on this point. I just proved that all of them were wrong. 70k views, boys. Uh, fooling all of you guys, by the way. How does that feel? And I'm going to show you guys something. People actually believe that it helps them. Look at this dude in my comment section. Uh, I, mean, I mean, these guys already. You guys can read these comments yourself. I'm not going to talk about it, but this guy. Placebo did double my KD though. It didn't. If you look in the comments here. Um, it feels so much more responsive, guys. For his mouse. This guy, it changes nothing. Placebo's effect is proven to be real. What does he get? Zero likes. No one believes him. Whatever. You can go through these comment sections and you will see. Oh, it helped me so much. Now I'm going to teach you guys a real lesson though. And I'm going to go full screen. For well, first of all, I'm not some random dude. And just because you're a random dude, it doesn't mean you can't make good videos to help other people. I understand this. But I'm not some random dude who just yaps. You know, I, I'm good at the game. I got Iridescent first season on the mouse and keyboard on uh, Ranked Play, Modern Warfare 3, first season, solo queue. Okay, I could have... No, nah, okay, I won't say anything. I achieved this, okay? I'm good at the game, come to my Twitch. Like, you will see. Anyways, when people talk about these fixes, every time, mouse filtering, you guys might have heard of it, uh, fixing mouse Excel, whatever it might be. When I ch try them... As an actual good player, no ego, factual information. I'm a good player. I know it's going to trigger people. Sorry, facts are annoying to people. I don't know what to tell you guys. 
I can never notice these things. With this thing specifically, the, the yaw speed thing specifically, I didn't even want to bother because I literally knew it was not going to do anything and I couldn't be bothered like testing it. But I ended up testing it for people like, look, guys, there is no acceleration in the game. It's fine. The mouse input is fine. Everyone keeps yap yammering about the mouse input being wrong, guys. A lot of Mouse Akira players have a super big ego. You watching could have it as well. I'm not trying to attack you by saying this, but it's good to start recognizing that you're not as good as you think you are. And you cannot perceive the things that you think you are perceiving sometimes, okay? In this case, so many people, even my friends who are good players as well, think they felt a difference. They told me, yo, try this setting, this yaw speed setting. You're really going to notice it this time. Like, yeah, this is an actual difference. It's not. And I want you guys to stop following YouTubers who don't show proof of what they're talking about. It feels better. Amazing. That's great. You can believe them, guys. But don't take it as fact and understand the effect of placebo, please. It is so powerful. It can make you really think. It can make you play better, literally, believing that it does something. And you have these people all in the comment section, guys, arguing with me. That I'm wrong, you know? Like, making all kinds of things up in their head. Such as, uh, let, let's just go through one of them. Yaw speed isn't for keyboard, it's for mouse and joystick, guys. He just makes stuff up. I just showed you pressing the keyboard, changing the setting from 1 to 279, made it move faster. But he says it's not for it. But because he sounds so confident in his speech, a lot of you guys will be willing to trust these kind of people. Like this guy. So many people trust him. Because he has that confidence. He's, this is how it is, he says, you know. It fixes it. It feels better, people say. And it makes you trust them. I, I like to call it a, a marketing way of speaking to people. He's like, blah, blah, blah. Um, I specifically told this guy. It says keyboard in it. And then this guy makes up something in his head that... In this case, it was meant for mouse, though. It was meant for the mouse, but they put keyboard as an abbreviation. Like, no, you scroll down, you see vehicle mouse steering sensitivity. They label it very well, these devs. But, hey, the second part of this video that I want to teach you guys, that I, I could dive into this in another video if you guys are curious. If any of you people watch Call of Shame or watch Bad Boy Beeman or any of these channels, and you are... You, you, you think it's a good source of information? You know, I have something to tell you about these people as well. How they speak in confidence about people cheating, fooling you. And I don't like seeing people get fooled because these people get money out of lying to you, by the way. If you don't mind that, fine. If you watch it as entertainment, fine. But I know people genuinely believe this stuff. People like Nadia got exposed i can go fully into nadia if you guys want and show why she is legit actually but that's the thing i just want to play my game i was getting tired of people making these bullshit excuses as to why they can't hit their shots if you can't hit your shots i'm sorry to say it but you're just not good it is what it is if you think you can't beat amos this one is going to be controversial but you're just not good man i'm not saying that amos is op or not i'm just saying you can get good enough as take it from someone who is good, who played in Iridescent, who played against top 250 players, whatever. You can beat them. You can actually trigger them and make them th the controller, the good controller players, like wager kids. You can make them think that you're cheating on mouse and keyboard, bro. It people, yeah, a lot of you guys have a really big ego. I've had it as well as well at one point. Try to drop it. You can achieve a lot of mouse and keyboard. The game is not the issue. Usually, you are the issue. And this just turned turn into a different rant. I'm not trying to roast you guys. Leave critical comments in the comment section down below, guys. If you disagree with anything, let's hear it. And uh, have a good one, guys. I'm just here trying to help y'all. See you later.